Hello, I wanted to talk about the new physics systems I, I've been making for the game to allow for uh, the existence of fragile crates, which uh, <laughs> really it was a big change, a big refactoring of the logic, but uh, it, it ended up uh, being a simple algorithm, relatively speaking. Let me show <clears throat> the basic idea. This crate, let's say uh, this is a fragile crate. So when I, when the player moves uh, to the right here, these two will crush the fragile crate. This, these two are uh, walls. The algorithm consists on four basic stages. The idea is first you mark the blocked crates. Paradoxically, you first mark the blocked ones. Let me use this color. Uh, in this case, the movement is uh, to the right. So first we mark this one is blocked because there is a, a wall here. This one blocks this one. And the algorithm stops here because the fragile crates don't block anyone else except other fragile crates. So in this case, the only two, the only two blocked uh, crates are these two. And then we proceed to mark the moving crates. Let's use another color. This one wants to move because uh, it's pushed by the player. This one pushes this one. This one pushes this one. And this one, given that it's uh, blocked in the previous uh, step, doesn't transmit the, the push. Then we check for destruction. Destruction occurs only for fragile crates that are at the same time are blocked and pushed. So this one, in this case, will be destroyed. And then we move the intact uh, crates uh, and the player like this. If, let me, in the case uh, that we have several fragile crates, the first part of the algorithm is like before, and we um, mark as blocked this one also, because fragile crates are, uh, blocked other fragile crates, but not normal crates. So the block the blocking marking ends here and again we mark uh, the moving crates like so and we stop here because this is blocked and block crates don't uh, uh, propagate um, the moving and in this case the destroyed uh, crate will be this one this one will wait for the next movement to, to be destroyed. Uh, the same algorithm is used, for example, let me let me move this here and let uh, let put uh, for example two fragile crates here. In this case this bulk, this crate is uh, sticky. So when when it when it falls it will it will transmit the the impulse to this one and will crush it. Uh, in this case, the algorithm is the same, but obviously the um, the blocking is different. We mark this as blocked, this as blocked, and this, given that it's fragile, doesn't block any other crates. If these two were normal, these two will block would block uh, this tree but in this case given that this is fragile uh, this uh, doesn't propagate the blocking and then we mark all the crates that are not blocked we mark as willing to move in this case the movement is uh, not initiated by the player but uh, by gravity and the sticky crate propagates the, the movement to the fragile crate and this given that it's blocked doesn't propagate the the movement and in this case this one is uh, blocked 
and push at the same time so this will be destroyed and we move the crates that are not blocked in this case in the next uh, in the next step of the falling in this case the markings will uh, will be like that but uh, in theory it could be different for example if we had um, another wall here this will be also blocked and these two will also be blocked and nobody will uh, move uh, but given that uh, there is no wall there um, in this case this one will be destroyed and this tree will fall again and then again etc those four steps are really all that i needed to 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 code for the new fragile crates to to work properly uh, there are several situations that are uh, funny let me show you for example in this situation this entire uh, system is uh, sustained by this wall but we can destroy this fragile crate by first uh, moving upwards and then gravity will break the, the fragile crate and we have here um, the fragile crates uh, support each other because they are intended to be uh, light but as soon as we drop something heavier <laughs> On them, uh, the the crates are destroyed. I was um, a bit troubled uh, with this refactoring because it <coughs> implied several changes uh, to the current to the previous algorithm to support for the concept of um, destroyability of crates, etc. But it's uh, it's working now, and uh, uh, there are some situations like this one. It's very interesting because the movement when we reach the wall we push and the first crate uh, to be destroyed is this one because the this ones uh, can move to this uh, to this empty space so they transmit the force to the to the crate uh, there are some situations that are a bit ambiguous uh, but in this case, I think it's, it's uh, reasonable, the result. Ah, uh, also, the, the fragile crates can be protected by, by the cages, but obviously, in this case, if we remove the cage, uh, we can destroy it using other, other forces. Uh, so, I'm, I'm happy with the... Mm, with the results of this uh, refactoring as, as the, the the levels uh, will have more complexity uh, let me show you uh, something interesting i was uh, fearing that uh, the levels would be too simple because you cannot in principle you cannot uh, grab the fragile crates because the player will uh, uh, destroy them but i discovered almost uh, unintentionally that if you have a ladder here that sustains the player so it doesn't fall into the crate you can grab the fragile crates so that uh, that is interesting because it will allow for levels where you can grab uh, fragile crates so I'm very happy in in total with the uh, working of, of the new system. And also the generator is a bit faster because the previous algorithm uh, was a bit um, heavy with, uh, with the way I implemented it. Uh, this algorithm is more complex, but I managed to simplify some some of the internal data structures and, and, and such so um, i'm very happy thanks for watching let me know if you have uh, questions or suggestions please consider uh, supporting me using some of the links below thanks